so it is an honor and a privilege uh, to be nominated for the 2024 Women's Wrestling Hall of Fame. It's uh, very exciting and I'm, I'm looking really forward to it. You it is my greatest honor for one of my dearest, my best friends, who welcomed me into the wrestling business, who carried me through the wrestling business. She is a seven-time champion. She is the leader of leaders in wrestling, and it is my honor and my privilege, you have deserved this, to induct you into the Women's Wrestling Hall of Fame. Say a few words. Of course, of course. <laughs> and I actually told him to interview me closer to the end of this convention because I knew I was going to cry. And my makeup is all messed up. You look beautiful. But, you know, I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter. But I want to say thank you so much. Um, I made, in wrestling, you know, it is a family. It is a sacrifice. We spent more time with each other yeah. than our own families. And um, I know Jazz was the one that suggested me. And Jazz is the best heel on the planet and taught me how to lead um, the wrestlers and the baby faces in the ring. And I have so many people to thank, um, but thank you for being here, Candace. I love you. Tori, like Candace, just all my good friends out there, man. I would have not been Victoria or Tara or Lisa without my good friends that made me look good. It's, it takes two to tango. And it's not just me that carried the match. It's, it's everyone. And I'm just, thank you for the opportunity. You fans, you Widow's Peak freaks, <laughs> touch my heart, touch my heart, and just, this is why we do conventions all the time. It's just, we just love our fans so much. And we're addicted too. We're big marks, <laughs> believe it or not, you know? But I love you so much. Thank you for this. Honestly, um, thank you, I love you. It is our pleasure. And I again, love you. and again, thank Jazz. you for everything you've done for the business. Oh, thank you, Jazz. Thanks for the house. Hello, this is Gary Wolf, the Pit Bull from the Pit Bulls, originally CW, also the Women's Wrestling Hall of Fame. I'm here with Jacqueline, and we want to induct her in the 2020 group, which is a super strong group, and she belongs in it. She's one of the pioneers of the business. She's worked her ass off, and she's been champion many times. You know what? Thank you so much. I'm so honored and humbled to be receiving this award today. It's a beautiful award. And uh, you know, wrestling been in my blood for years. I eat, sleep, and with wrestling. You know, wrestling, been, like I said, been in my blood for years. And I'm so honored and, uh, you know, I'm happy to pave the way for many women out there, you know, that follow me and, and, and study my work and everything. I'm just so happy people realize that I'm one of the pioneers of women wrestling. Like I said, I'm very thankful to be receiving this award. And uh, this is awesome. This is really awesome. Thank you again. Broadway Joe Malcolm. I'm here with Mike McGurk the first female WWF announcer and color commentator. I'm here to induct you into the Women's Wrestling Hall of Fame. This is for you. Yes, for all your hard work in the business. Oh. Say a few words to your fans out there. Just a few words. Whatever Thanks, you want to do. Joe. I am, I, thank God I'm getting something that, um, you know, I'm, I'm still alive and can hold this and be honored. I'm humbled beyond belief that you all would choose me to be in the Hall of Fame. I don't feel like I've earned any of this. I think that it goes to my dad, um, but you know, uh, I'm here to keep his name out there and alive. He wanted a boy, that's why my name is Mike, instead he got a female ring announcer. But thank you so much, um, like I said, I get big words, can't tell you of how I feel and honored about this. This will go in my home, proudly displayed. Yeah, thank well, you, it, Broadway it's, Joe. It's, it's I'm an, shaking, can you tell? It's an honor to meet you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my gosh, thank you. 
two well-deserved ladies of the ring. Of course, Mike McGurk didn't put on the tights and wrestle as Robin did, but she was the voice, the first female voice of WWF wrestling. And as for Rock and Robin, just like the song goes, Rock and Robin. And she was an outstanding star who has come to the terms of getting an award well deserved. Uh, hey, it's been a, it's, it's been a while, uh, but uh, no, this is very very nice. Um, it's a it, it's an honor. It's an honor that people still remember us from I know what a thousand years ago. So, no, uh, very much appreciated. Well, we appreciate everything y'all have done for the business, both of you. And it's an honor, like I said before with you, it's an honor to meet both of you. Oh, thank you. After because of all the years of being in the business, you never know if you left a mark on the industry or not. And to hear these incredible women that have recommended me to be inducted, and then the wrestling fans and other promoters and other workers in the industry thinking that much of me, I am truly honored and humbled to receive it. And this was a surprise. I was not expecting this today. I was expecting it in the near future. So thank you from my heart to your heart. I humbly and accept this award graciously, so thank you very much. I'm very proud of it. It's been a long time coming, and I'm so thankful she finally made it with all these years she put in of hard work. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Vanessa Marchuka, and on behalf of the Women's Wrestling Hall of Fame, we are inducting Sherry Martell into the class of 2024. Accepting on her behalf is her son, Jared. This is an honor. On behalf of the Women's Wrestling Hall of Fame and the Tag Team Hall of Fame, both you and Joyce will be inducted officially as a tag team. Um, before she had passed away, we had told her about this and she did accept. So on behalf of both Hall of Fames, you are now officially inducted. Thank you, this is such an honor. And you know, Joyce Grable was one of my very favorite wrestlers. She taught me a lot when I first broke into the business and probably the tag team matches were my funnest matches. Um, we had a lot of fun in the ring and I was brand new and it just means a lot to me. And especially with Joyce passing, I did go to her funeral. It was the best funeral I ever went to. Two of the pastors were actually wrestlers themselves, and what a good job. I wanted to ask the pastor when I die, would he do my, officiate my funeral too, because it was a good one. But thank you so much for this award. Um, I, I really, really appreciate it. And I know Joyce is looking down from heaven and smiling as well. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Missy Hyatt, the First Lady of Wrestling, but I like to be called The Walking Riot. I will be in Philadelphia at the ECW Arena for Icon Wrestling, and I'm going to be inducted in the Women's Wrestling Hall of Fame. I'm very excited for the nomination. I do appreciate the Women's Hall of Fame nominating me for such a really cool award. And I just like to thank all my supporters and fans out there that have gotten me to this point.